Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to talk about SCM or Source Control Management. So let's get started. So in today's uh, discussion, we are going to talk on these points. First, we'll start with introduction, then types of source control management. After that, we will start with few of the examples of source control management tools. Then we'll discuss on main commands in Git. So this diagram shows how the source code on developer machine can be committed to local repository and then can be pushed to the remote Git repository. In the similar way, developer can pull latest changes from the remote repository. So let's see how the flows goes. Here, this is the developer workstation. He can pull the latest changes from the repo remote repository. Then he can commit his changes, whatever changes he does, he can commit his changes to the local Git repository. Once he is sure to uh, push his changes to remote Git repository, he can push his changes to remote, uh, remote Git repository. When he wants his changes to be merge to the main branch or master branch, he can create pull request. So this is the complete flow. So types of SCM or source control management, centralized, for example, SVN or subversion by Apache. Another is distributed, Examples are GitHub or GitLab. So here we can see few examples of SCM tools. GitHub, Git, GitLab, Apache, SVN or Subversion, CVS, Mercurial, Monotone, Bitbucket Server. So basically Bitbucket is usually used by companies as a private repository where they don't want their source code to be uploaded to cloud. So they go for this. Talking about the main commands, these are the commands we can use in order to achieve various functionalities in Git. We have git pull, then git add, then git commit, then git push, and at last create pull request. So as I said earlier, create pull request whenever you have any changes and you want to commit your changes to the main or master branch, you need to create a pull request and your supervisor will approve that pull request. After that, your changes would be merged to the main or master branch. So in real time projects, this is the way how the source code check in check out happens. I would say 90% of companies are using Git or Git based SCM and rest are using centralized approach because of legacy system product which they are using. So hope this presentation gives a quick demo of what is SCM and what are various tools in today's real time project. Projects various companies are using. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please follow and subscribe for this kind of videos for future. Thank you much. Bye bye.